talk about some of these sectors specifically. On the renewable energy, I understand China and South Africa, for example, just among uh, many business partners here in the African continent, has signed uh, contracts and have been working together on that front very vigorously. So we, South Africa actually opened up um, the renewable energy opportunity mm. through what was called the Renewable Energy Independent Power Producer Procurement Program in 2013, mm -hmm. so 10 years ago. Yeah. And we saw a lot of interest from um, all over globally. And those power plants are now up and running. Mm -hmm. However, the, some of the older technology, of course, didn't have the storage capacity, which is absolutely necessary. Mm -hmm. So the memoranda that have been signed are actually intended to help South Africa in addressing, in the immediate term, the energy supply issues, mm -hmm. but also to, to tr transition to um, the cleaner energies, yes. which the world is demanding of all of us to do. Mm -hmm. And I'm pleased that we can do that in partnership with um, grid counterparts, especially China. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be a mutually beneficial certainly without uh, relationship without a doubt because some of the raw materials that we explore actually go into these uh, battery storage mm -hmm. uh, components and we look forward to the companies coming into the country and producing some of those components assembling the batteries here mm -hmm. in the country because that will be mutually uh, beneficial mm. that is also about the African interests without a doubt because they too have minerals such as lithium, which we get up further north yes. from our shores. Cobalt um, is also up north. And these are minerals that I believe are used in the technology for the battery Absolutely. storage. Mm -hmm. And um, so that's why the interest also from our African counterparts to come and engage with uh, the Brit nations.